With more people now eligible for the COVID vaccine, there are more questions about the vaccines and how they work. Wisconsin doctors held a virtual discussion tonight to provide some answers. Tony Atkins has that story. The UW Now, a University of Wisconsin based YouTube program, hosted four medical experts, people online able to ask their questions about COVID 19. I think people need to, in some ways, sort of back away from this idea of splitting hairs about these vaccines being very different. And in fact, I think we really need to consider them all pretty much the same at this point. One of the first questions How effective are the vaccines against the variants? Panelist Dave O'Connor says they are effective against current known strands. The vaccines generally seem to work against the variants. More work is needed. In Wisconsin, nearly 600,000 cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed. Many of those recovered, choosing to vaccinate, but concerned about any negative reactions. Dr. Jim Conway says those recovered from COVID-19 should wait a bit before vaccinating. Early on, we were asking people to wait 90 days, partially because we know that there's good protection after a COVID uh, infection. Another topic, workplaces mandating the vaccine. Dr. Nadia Safdar of UW Health says she isn't aware of any employer doing so, but says it could be beneficial. Ultimately, I think it would be a good plan to mandate this vaccine. Um, and given how effective, you know, all of them are and the major impact that it can have on infections and health care workers, I think it makes complete sense. Panelists also shared data on tracking COVID-19 vaccines development. The tracker shows dozens of vaccines currently undergoing trials and even four types of vaccines that were scrapped during their trials. Panelists on the show continuing to urge people to stay vigilant even as those vaccines roll out and case numbers remain well below the peaks we've seen months ago. In Milwaukee, Tony Atkins, TMJ4 News. Tony, thank you. Our digital team has compiled a list of common questions and responses from health experts. You can find that at tmj4.com slash coronavirus.